Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect WooCommerce to Zapier in 2024. If you're running an online store and you just want to automate the processes like order notifications, inventory updates, or even some customer management, this tutorial for you. So make sure to follow it step by step and let dive and get these platforms connected. So make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser for me here i'm using brave for you you can use it where you want once you open it go to this url section and of course you'd like to go to zapier.com if it's your first time you will be taken here as you can see to this page so in here you'll have to go and click on login at the top right corner if you have an account to log into it and if you don't you'll have to click on sign up instead so if you click on login as you can see you have a lot of options if you have like a google account facebook or microsoft account you'll be able to use one of those so you don't have to go through all the boring steps of logging in and for creating uh, you'll be able to use google so you don't have to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account and once you created your account if it's your first time you'll get 14 days of trial of course of premium features and apps so once you're logged in you'll find yourself here normally you should do the same with woocommerce so go to who like commerce.com hit the insert button and this should take you into the platform so make sure to go and click on login again if you have an account and if you don't click on create an account so just go here i'll just yeah continue i was going to continue the google but it seems like they remember me from my last login and as you can see i'm already logged in into my woocommerce account without any problems so what i'll need to do now is just simply go back to zapier go to this list panel example here on apps and just go and click on that once you click on it, you'll have to go to search apps here at the top. So just go there and type WooCommerce. Once you type that, as you can see, you'll find WooCommerce right here. So all you need to do, just go and click on connect and this will pop out into you. So what you'll need to do now is simply, as you can see, allow Zapier to access your WooCommerce account. It will require, of course, the WooCommerce Zapier plugin and the quick starts guide. Simply the quick starts guide, of course, you'll be able to click on it to read this out to see how is it as you can see they even give you a youtube video on how to do it and any other informations you will find it here the same basically will be for the woocommerce zapier plugin if you click on it you'll be taken to the exact plugin all they need to do just go and click on buy now uh, as example and once it's added you'll be able to establish the connection very easily so let's just go back in here as you can see so it requires those two without it you will not be able to connect your woocommerce to zapier so once you have the plugin now ready uh, you buy it as an example and you install it or download it and activate it as an example and you've seen the quick start guide it's time to fill up those information starting by word site uh, or wordpress site address url so you'll need to go to the wordpress dashboard site menu settings general settings then copy the site url and fill this and paste it here so of course you'll need to go as we said to wordpress and dot com then go to the side menu click on settings and on settings as we said we'll have to go and click on general so we're on general already and from there as you can see you can copy this site url as you can see which is going to be basically this one the site address or site url just go and copy it as example and simply come back in here and enter it out after that you'll have to enter your wordpress username so as you can see the username or email address you use to log in into your wordpress afterwards you'll have to go and uh, enter the wordpress application password so you'll have to go and create an application password in wordpress then enter it here how to create one just simply click on here they will take you to that exact page normally you'll find this on the quick guide or the setup guide that they uh, told you about here so as you can see quick starts guide but if you still don't know how to do it as an example they will take you exactly to that setup guide or quick guide to the exact section of it so as you can see authenticate when you create your first woocommerce zap you'll be asked to choose your woocommerce account the authentication process involves the zapier service.com service connecting to your woocommerce store using your wordpress administrator username and password please ensure that you complete the authentication dialog window correctly so in the wordpress site url fill the 
field, of course, enter the URL to your WordPress website, home, uh, front page, and be sure the URL starts with HTTPS, two dots and two slashes, and does not include the trailing slash. For example, like this. So HTTPS example.com. If in doubt, uh, as an example, all you need to do just go to, as we said before, uh, WordPress settings or yeah, settings like side menu settings, general screen, and copy the site URL, which is this one, or site address. Yeah, as you can see, site address. So field value and paste in the WordPress site address field and authentication dialog window. And if WordPress username field. Uh, as an example, you'll have to enter your administrator username and email address that uh, you use when you log in into the WordPress dashboard. And here, the, uh, the WordPress application password field, you'll need to go and create one. So go in there. As you can see, they'll tell you also how to do it. So go to sign menu, user, then profile. So as an example here, uh, where is users? So here's users profile. And from there, as an example, uh, you'll need to go and look for uh, application password you'll have to scroll down for it so where is it new password oh what is application password maybe it's this one so you can i guess just go and click on here so just go and click on it so maybe not here then so basically as they said users then profile so users then profile and scroll to the application password section which is halfway down the screen. It looks like this. So applications password. So it seems like I don't have it in here for some reason. And just go and check again. So contacts info, language, name, and etc. So it seems like it's not there. I don't know why. Let me just go back and check again. So profile. And here is an example if I scroll down. I should find it because they say it's halfway through. Anyway, um, I, I don't know why I didn't find this. Maybe because this is an older version. But as you can see here, you'll find application password. Just go and click on a uh, new application password name. Give it a name and click on, of course, and add a new one. You will get your application password. And all you need to do, just go and paste it in here. Then click on yes, continue to WooCommerce. Once you do so, the connection between Zapier and WooCommerce will be established and you should be good to go. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.